So here we are at the start of this season's British Touring Car Championship. The new rule changes make anything possible this year, with the added pit stops putting pressure on the teams as well as the drivers. And Thruxton is our opening venue. And we're really being spoilt by the weather here today. It's lovely and sunny with not a cloud in sight. Rounds three and four of the touring car season bring us to Silverstone, which is seen as one of the most popular circuits by spectators and competitors alike. And the drivers will be wrestling against the conditions today with the rain pouring down. Rounds five and six bring us to Donington Park for the first time this season. And with a damp, greasy surface, we're almost guaranteed to see some spectacular incidents. So, with three venues already behind us, this cracking little circuit at Brands Hatch provides the action for the fourth meeting of the championship. And it is rather cloudy here today, but we are not expecting rain, so it shouldn't affect the day's racing. The championship continues here at Alton Park, and we have a big crowd here to watch rounds 9 and 10 of the season. The sun is out, the track is warm, and the conditions are just about perfect for touring car racing. Welcome back to Donington Park once more for rounds 11 and 12 of the campaign. And it is rather cloudy here today, but we are not expecting rain, so it shouldn't affect the day's racing. Next stop is the new Croft Circuit for rounds 13 and 14 of this year's championship. And with a damp, greasy surface, we're almost guaranteed to see some spectacular incidents. Welcome to the annual touring car visit to Norfolk and the exciting Snetterton Circuit. The sun is out, the track is warm and the conditions are just about perfect for touring car racing. So here we are back at Thruxton and it'll be interesting to see how the teams have progressed compared to the first race here way back in April. The weather could be a major factor here today with the sky threatening rain at any moment. This is our only visit north of the border to Scotland and the picturesque circuit here at Knock Hill. And as you can see, the weather could not be much worse here. Absolutely anything could happen in these conditions. With only six rounds to go, we find ourselves back at the tight little circuit here at Brands Hatch. It should make for a fascinating battle. The sun is out, the track is warm and the conditions are just about perfect for touring car racing. Here we are then back at Alton Park, where it's make or break time in the championship. With available points running out, we should be in for a sizzling day's racing. And as you can see, the weather could not be much worse here. Absolutely anything could happen in these conditions. Well, here we are back at the world famous Silverstone Circuit for the championship finale. The sun is out, the track is warm and the conditions are just about perfect for touring car racing.